These RTL dongle sticks are great fun for VHF and UHF reception. But the antennas they come with are often poor. For a start, they may be only 30 to 35 centimetres long. That's a little bit short. Ideally, you want it to be at least 50 centimetres long to be a quarter wavelength on bands like 2 metres or 144 megahertz. And an antenna of that length would also be fine for reception of the 430 megahertz amateur band. And the other thing about them is no radial. That would provide even better reception. You will often find that their supplied antenna unscrews. Next thing is to go through various antennas that you've salvaged from radio and TV receivers. With any luck, you'll find one with a base like this. With even more luck, it will screw onto the base. The result is a much longer antenna. This one being a four quarter wavelength on the FM broadcast band with flexibility so it can be shortened for other frequencies. The other thing I suggest is looking at the base. With a small screwdriver, I've peeled it off and you can see the magnet that holds it to a metal surface. A good thing, at least in my antenna, is that the magnet is connected to the outer of the coax feed line. Thus, it can be a point to which we can connect a radial. 50 centimetres of wire soldered to this connection. That is large and flat enough to fit underneath the magnet. You might want to clean away some of the glue to ensure adequate electrical contact. Something else you might want to do is to apply some nice thick cloth tape to restore protection to the underside of the antenna. I've cut slits in the tape to make it easier to fold back over the base of the antenna. It doesn't look very elegant, but it does the job. You might want to attach something heavier if you find that this topples due to the longer length of the antenna. If you want to book to help you get started in ham radio, then ham radio get started is it. It covers all the basics you need to know to set up an amateur station, explore various facets and make contacts on the air. It's pitched at US viewers. For more information, visit my website or follow the links on Amazon. That's ham radio get started. Your successful beginning in amateur radio.